आई एम प्रीति बावनकुड़े असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट जेच रायसुनी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नागपुर टुडे आई एम डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राइव्स एंड देयर कंट्रोल सो दीज आर द कंटेंट ऑफ माय टुडेज लेक्चर दैट इज सिलेबस आई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई डिस्कस अबाउट द सिलेबस सेकंड थिंग व्हाट इज मीन बाय द ड्राइव मींस डेफिनेशन ऑफ ड्राइव एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राइव्स नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दैट इसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राइव्स नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज फंडामेंटल इक्वेशन ऑफ ड्राइव देन classification of drive and steady state stability these all these are the content of my today's lecture first at syllabus this course means electrical drives and their control it consists of six unit first unit is totally based on the characteristic of drives means for an example electrical characteristic speed torque characteristic speed armature characteristic a uh, running characteristic braking characteristic starting characteristics all these are characteristics which are studied in first unit second unit is totally based on the selection of motor means which parameter you have to decide for selection of the motor for an example the nature of source nature of drive rating of the motor uh, also we consider the cost cost of the drive all these parameter are consider while selection of the motor so that part we are discuss in second unit third unit that is plc the programming logic controller means by using the programming logic controller we can control the speed of induction motor speed of the dc motor since plc is used to control means as a controller these all these are studied in third unit unit 4 that is a traction traction means what it's it is a system which is used or it is a system to move a, any vehicle for an example a vehicle train all these are the tractions where there are uh, ac type of traction dc type of tra traction or um, hybrid type of traction for an example a dc type of traction if you are using the dc source a dc source means dc series motor generally we use the dc series motor in dc traction so these are we are studied in fourth unit that is traction next unit that is unit 5 ac dc contactors and relay if any fault occurs in the system if any fault occurs in the system then relay will sense the fault and contactor will operate how that contractor is operated that total will discuss on the unit 4 <coughs> unit next unit that is totally based on the digital control system means you are giving the input in digital form and control the system that is total control the drive system these are the content of your syllabus next part that is <coughs> what is meant by the drive drive means it is a combination of prime movers machine equipments pulley belt all these are the combinations total gives the drives or any system employ for the motion control that is your drive i concentrate on the electrical drive what is meant by the electrical drive see as a form of machine equipment means as a form of machine equipment design design uh, design electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy and provide the control means that is electrical control or electronics control to the system first of all i clarify the definition that is <coughs> as a form of as a form of machine equipment design design electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy and provide the uh, provide the control that is electrical control and electronics control to the system see electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy that can done by the motor also but what is new thing in the drive new thing in drive is that 
it provide the control it provide the control to the system that is new thing in drive means electrical drives the definition is that as a form of machine equipment design to con convert the electrical energy into mechanical energy and provide the electrical and electronics controller these are the electrical drive definition next is means for an, uh, for an example it is electrical parameter that is v i and phi that is electrical parameters and mechanical parameters that is torque omega and alpha means you have to control if you have to control the torque omega and alpha you have to change the value of v and phi means by changing the value of voltage current and phi we can control the torque or angular velocity so this is the output means mechanical parameter output we can control by controlling the electrical parameters that is v i and phi these are the basic of electrical drive next part the essential part of electrical drive the first part that is power source power modulator motor load control unit and sensing unit first of all that is power source it may be ac it may be a dc or sometime we use the solar power also so that solar power source is feed your power source supplied to the power modulator see this power modulator what is what is the function of power modulator it modulate the power as per the requirement of load or as per the requirement of motor for an example the input is ac and we required a dc output or motor required a dc input at that time power modulator is modulate the power in such a way that for the requirement of motor means it convert this ac to dc if the power is converted ac to dc it means that the power modulator it act as a rectifier because rectifier is converted ac to dc for an example that motor is required a ac power power means motor is required ac input at that time power modulator is used as a inverter because this power modulator is converted the dc power into the ac power sometime it is used as a cyclo converter sometime it is used as a voltage controller so main function of this power modulator is that sometime uh, it's also called as a power converter also <coughs> so basic function of the power modulator is that modulate the power as per the requirement of motor next thing the control unit means we need a control unit for controlling the power modulator for an example so time it is a rectifier then we need to control the firing angle so for that purpose we required a control unit also we required a sensing unit senses because sometime we need to sense the speed we need to uh, sense the uh, torque so sensing unit also required so these are the basic essential part of electrical drive see this is a power source means ac power it may be a dc power or sometime it is use a solar power power modulator it acts sometime it is act as a rectifier inverter cyclo converter so all these are power modulator control unit control unit then motor load and sensing unit these all are the essential part of electrical drives next part that is fundamental equation of electrical drives the fundamental for fundamental equation if you are considering equivalent motor load system in that case if one motor is connected to a load one motor is connected to a load in that case the motor torque motor torque is always opposes the load torque or sometimes you can say that the load torque is always opposite to the motor torque see the basic basic fundamental equation is that motor torque 
is equals to the load torque plus j d omega by dt that is t that is t equals to t l plus j d omega m by d t here the t indicates the motor torque equals to this t l indicates the load torque plus j that is moment of inertia d omega by d t see in that equation this motor torque is counterbalanced by the load torque and these are the dynamic torque so j d omega m by d t indicates the dynamic torque <coughs> see that dynamic torque is present only when transient condition is occurs means it will upset when steady steady state condition in that steady state condition if these component are this term is zero means motor torque is equals to the load torque means steady state condition is that motor torque is equals to the load torque at that time the dynamic torque is zero when motor torque is greater than load torque when motor torque is greater than load torque this condition is a acceleration condition this condition is a acceleration condition and the dynamic torque is a positive see first condition that is when t equals to when t equals t is greater than tl that is acceleration condition second condition is that <coughs> if motor torque is less than the load torque if motor torque is less than the load torque that condition is a deacceleration condition that condition is a deacceleration condition in that case that dynamic torque is negative the dynamic torque is negative so from the fundamental equation we conclude the two conditions first is a acceleration condition second one is a deacceleration condition and these are the dynamic torque new thing is a dynamic torque after then <coughs> these are the fundamental equation for the electrical drive from classic next is is classification of drive see on the basis of design we can classify the drive for an example uh, on the basis of drive that is first is group drive second one is individual drive and third one is multi drive see first is group drive so group it name itself that um, several mechanism are connected to one shaft several mechanism which is connected to a shaft and this shaft is driven by a single machine means in group drives the several mechanism which is connected to a one shaft and that shaft is driven by one some motor one motor only one motor that system is called as a group drive or you can say that that system is a sharp drive <coughs> for an example in a sugar mill also we use the drive uh, group drive here but only one advantage of that group drive is if any fault occurs in one side or one mechanism the total system will be closed for the some time till the fault will not clear so these are the disadvantage of the group drive next drive that is uh, individual drive system means separate mechanism is required for each motor separate mechanism is required means for one mechanism one motor separate individual so that is your individual drive the advantage is means if any fault occurs in any system then separately it will responsible it will not affect the any other mechanism so this is the advantage it is very simple but if if um, these are the uh, this is individual drive second one is multi motor drive multi motor drive means what several mechanism is connected to a different different motor and which is connected combinedly or interconnected means for an example <coughs> these are the mechanism these are the mechanism is driven by one motor 
another mechanism which is driven by another motor these are interconnected all these are the multi motor drive uh, next thing is steady state stability let us steady state stability we examine um, by using the graphical representation for an example we consider motor torque load torque and some equilibrium point c on x axis we take a torque on x axis we take a torque and y axis we take a omega m see by using the graphical representation we study the steady state stability so we consider one line that is your motor torque see next line that is load torque and that point equilibrium point is all called as a a point see here when motor torque is equals to load torque that condition is a steady state stability or we can say that at that point the speed is equilibrium speed means here the speed is equilibrium speed fine so let us assume uh, let us examine the steady state stability of a point steady state stability of a point if any disturbance occurs if any disturbance occurs the speed may increase or decrease or you can say that any departure in the speed while disturbances any departure in the speed while disturbances means if any disturbance occurs in the system then speed will decrease or increase see in uh, we consider first case that is speed decreases if speed will decrease here that is first that is omega m1 speed will decrease corresponding speed that is omega m2 see means new speed that is omega m2 because we are considering the decrease speed here corresponding torque we drag corresponding torque see these are the because tl t l and this torque is a t here <coughs> when we consider a uh, speed decreases in case means two cases first case is speed increases and decreases we consider the decrease in speed and corresponding torque that is tl and t in that case we observe that t is greater than tl see that t is greater than tl it means that the acceleration will occur acceleration it means previously i told that acceleration means speed increases means this speed increases means again this point is come to the point this equilibrium point again come to the equilibrium point the stable condition is that when any point is restore its original position if any point is restore its original position position after departure after departure due to the disturbance in the system then only you can say that that point is stable or you can say that that point will or uh, or that in that point the speed is equilibrium speed for an example here speed new speed means if we uh, we consider the speed decreases that is omega m2 but due to the acceleration again speed increases and that point is go upward side and come to that point means here in a point where point a is restore its original position restore its original position after departure due to the disturbance that's why this a point is a stable point in first case when we consider the decrease in speed okay, second case same this is your t and this one is your 
टी एल इट इज ओमेगा एम एंड दिस वन इज अ टॉप सी हियर वी कंसिडर दैट हियर वी कंसिडर द डिक्रीज इन स्पीड हियर वी कंसिडर द इंक्रीज इन स्पीड दिस इज अ इक्वेब्रियम पॉइंट एंड दिस वन इज अ इंक्रीज इन ओमेगा एम थ्री एंड दिस वन इज ओमेगा एम इन दैट केस वी कंसिडर द इंक्रीज इन स्पीड द करस्पॉन्डिंग टॉक्स वी ड्रैक द करस्पॉन्डिंग टॉक दिस वन इज टी एल एंड दिस इज योर टी हियर प्रीवियस केस दैट मोटर टॉर्क इज ग्रेटर दैन लोड टॉर्क हियर द लोड टॉर्क इज ग्रेटर दैन योर मोटर टॉर्क सी the load torque is greater than motor torque that condition is a deacceleration condition deacceleration itself name is deacceleration means speed decreases this new speed again come to its original position means that point a point restore its original position after departure due to the disturbance means in both the cases that point a is come to this original position that's why you can say that this point a is stable that point is a stable point in both the cases we are considering while considering the speed increases and next is for decreases also so these are the two cases once next case that is if x axis torque and y axis omega we examine the second point that is b point we examine the second point that is b point <coughs> here load torque and this one is a motor torque point b point b <clears throat> then in that case let us examine the stability of the b whether this point b is point is stable or unstable here this is equilibrium position omega m or omega m1 sometime you can say that omega m or omega m see departure means increase or decrease in first case we consider the decrease decrease in speed omega m2 see corresponding points drag points drag your points this one is a tl and this one is your t from that axis we clear that load torque is greater than motor torque so load torque is greater than motor torque that condition is deacceleration condition deacceleration itself name means speed will decrease speed decrease means from that point again decreases again decreases means that b point is not come to restore its original position after departure it's away from the equilibrium point it's all away from the equilibrium point that's why this this point is unstable point in first case we are considering while considering the decrease in speed when decreases then corresponding torque that torque is load torque is greater than motor torque and here when uh, load torque is greater than motor torque that condition is deacceleration deacceleration means speed decreases speed decrease means this point is away from this equilibrium point and it cannot restore its original position that's why this point is a unstable point similarly while considering the decrease in condition for an example here t l and this is t this b point omega m1 and when consider that increase in this omega m3 in that case <coughs> is a omega m this is a torque in that case if you are considering the increase in speed if speed is increases then corresponding 
these are the T, this is a T L, where motor torque is greater than the load torque. If motor torque is greater than the load torque here, then the condition is acceleration. Acceleration means speed increases, means from that point again speed increase means away from this B point. Speed increases means upward side and away from this B means that point is cannot restore its original position. It cannot restore its original position. That is why that B point is a unstable point. So, point B unstable. So, from the graphical representation also, we can decide the steady state stability or we can exi examine the steady state stability also. In next lecture, we are uh, in next lecture we are studied about the selection of motor. So, thank you.